Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you my five favorite tools for creating random name pickers to use in your classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one, which is wheelofnames.com. And as you can see, it's a wheel of names. Simply click it or press the enter key on your keyboard and it will select a name for you. And in this case, Hannah is the name that's chosen. And we see confetti, and I have the volume muted a little bit, but it also played a little applause. I can remove that name. Now, let's say I want to use my own names in here. Well, I have a list of names right here, and I'm going to just paste those in here. And now I have my list of names right there. And before we spin the wheel, let's take a look at how we can customize this a little bit. So click on that customize button and we can have different sounds when the wheel is spun. So let's say we want to use some can't slow down music or we want to use some drum roll music. Let's use drum roll. I have the volume turned all the way up. I'm going to have it spin at a normal speed and our spin time here, we can spin it for longer or shorter intervals of time. And here our maximum number of names on the wheel. Now, after the spin, I'm going to have an announcement bell instead of applause, or I can have symbols or thunder or alarm clocks playing. I'm going to do the announcement bell. And I'll have the volume turned all the way up. And I'm going to animate the winning entry. I'm going to launch confetti. And we're going to say here we have a winner. We can fill in something else if we want. But I'm just going to leave it as we have a winner. And then our overall appearance, you can see here by default, we have one color per section. But we can also use a background image, in this case, a cookie, or autumn leaves, or any of these other ones here, or you can even upload your own image if you like. So I'm going to set it back to one color per section. And let's go ahead and now click this wheel. And Stanley is our winner. And I'm going to remove Stanley from the list so that we don't use his name again or pick his name again. Now, one more thing I want to point out about Wheel of Names is that you can use images in place of names. Just simply go over to the list of names, take them out, and add images in their place. I'm going to upload some images here. And you can see here, I've got a few different images. And they're all of myself, except for one of my dog sticking his tongue out. And now we can spin the wheel. And there I am, the winner. And I will remove that from that wheel of names. Next, we're going to take a look at a similar tool called Spinner Wheel. So spinnerwheel.com works in a similar manner to Wheel of Names. Again, you can put in a list of names. I'm going to put in my list of sample names here. Let's paste those in. And we have our list of names. And we can spin it and pick a name at random. It looks like Ryan is our winner in this case. And I'm going to remove Ryan from the list. Now, you can also go up here and add an image. And you can search images to add in. Let's use this image of a dog. And now we have that dog image on our wheel of names. Now, you can also go up here to your wheel settings and you can change the sound effects. And you can change what happens after the wheel has been spun. You can have different sounds played. You can turn the volume up. Let's turn that way up. And we can have 
the winter effects turned on or off, and we can swap out our entire wheel design and pick one of these different themes and apply it. And now we see that's the theme applied to our wheel. But what's really neat about spinnerwheel.com is that you can add a second wheel and have two wheels spinning at the same time. So let's say that I want to put these people into groups. And so I'm going to put in a list of groups, group three, group four, and group, oop, helps to spell it correctly, group five. And I'm going to spin the wheels at the same time. And so this way, I'm going to randomly assign Kevin to group one. And we can see right there, Kevin's now assigned to group one. I'm going to remove Kevin from the list, but not group one from the list because I want to spin it again and assign somebody else to one of the groups, perhaps to group one. But in this case, it looks like Creed is going to be in group four. So let's remove Creed now that he knows he's in group four. So that's spinnerwheel.com. It's a great little tool for creating these random groups. Next up, we're going to look at flippity.net and their random name picker. So flippity.net has long offered a random name picker. And let's take a look at the demo of it right here. You can see here's our list of names and we can go ahead and just spin it and it will randomly pick one of these names. Now you can see I could also make it full screen if I wanted to and I could even turn on this little timer to go with it. But one of the things that's neat about Flippity's random name picker is that I can have it displayed in a number of ways. I can do a spinner, but I can also do a single name and just click through to have it randomly pick a name that way. I can have a lineup option and just spin it that way. I can have it randomly generate groups of three, four, five. I can look at teams and have it randomly generate teams. I can even do a seating chart randomly with this random name picker. So again, let's we'll take a look at my list of random names that I have over here. And I am going to put them into the list here in Flippity.net's random name picker. And I'm going to paste those in. Oh, let me copy those again. Let me copy those. And paste in. And let's generate my new random name picker with those names. So now we're going to take a look at a fourth option for random name pickers, and it is called the Name Picker Ninja. And this works very simply. Just go to the Add Name section. We're going to configure our list. So we're going to take out all these default names here, and then we're going to put in our own list of names and randomly configure that list. One thing I should point out about all of these tools is probably best to only use first names of your students or perhaps first name and initial if you have students with this same first name in your classroom. And let's go ahead and hit go. And now random the name picker ninja will randomly pick one of these names and remove it from the list. This is the simplest of all the name picker tools in this video. It does only what I just showed you right there. There are no other options available. And last, we're going to look at a tool that offers a random name picker, but also some other handy little options for your classroom management. So the last option for a random name picker is classroomscreen.com. And I created an extensive video about Classroom Screen last fall, and that's linked up in the description down below. But what I wanna show you here is just the option for the random name picker. So let's go here and click Launch Now. I'm doing this without signing into any kind of account. Let's choose Random Name Picker. And now we can put in my list of names. There's my list of names. 
Let's put those right in there. And then we can click choose. And it will randomly pick one of the names for me. Now, Classroom Screen does offer a bunch of other little things like a countdown timer. If you want to have a countdown timer and say, Pam, you have 10 minutes to complete this task or whatever you want to use that timer for, you can certainly do that. Let's change this down to, let's say, just a little bit of time, 10 seconds, maybe one minute and 10 seconds. You could do something like that with ClassroomScreen.com. Again, I have a much more extensive video about Classroom Screen linked up right down below. So those are five random name pickers that you can use in your classroom for free. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.